Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Well, my gimbal finally arrived today, so what I thought I'd do with you is do a quick unboxing, show you what you get inside the box, get it assembled, get it mounted onto my Phantom 2, and show its performance. So uh, let's get it open and have a look inside. Okay, so this should be a fairly simple process. Now, the first thing to do is make sure you know which way this aligns onto the base of the Phantom. So, in this case, we've got the K is at the back, and what we need to do is you've got four of these these pins, uh, but the instructions say you only need to use two. So they pop through. Diagonally, and then we have to secure that dampening plate to the actual Phantom 2 itself. I've had a quick play. One thing I did notice, and I'm going to change it slightly. You actually get four, four of these pins, and what they do is two of them sort of go through there and one the other side and what I did notice was once that was installed basically this it, depending on which side you've got one on the back it was catching on there so as it comes through I'll just show you quickly oops when you've got that pin through installed that will come round and it will catch and stop it from moving so what I've done is I'm actually going to not bother and just put probably just a tie wrap just because obviously you know you don't want that popping off if you you know have a bit of a hard landing or whatever so i'm actually gonna put a bit of tie i'm not gonna do it up tight but just enough so that obviously it does secure it because that through there and it catch plus these are one time only deal and they are a, a pain to get off to be honest with you um i've just spent the last 10 minutes trying to get the two of them off um i didn't break them because i only you get four but so i'm actually not going to bother when I put them back on again. Anyway, let's get this uh, get this all set up. First things first, I'm gonna take two small tie wraps. I'll trim these down to size. And I'm just gonna put one, just gonna put them through sort of like that for the minute. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them through the front ones because there's a bit of space there. It's really just to stop, to stop them falling off because um, obviously you don't want to come down, have a bit of a hard landing or something or mid-flight, you don't want to suddenly find your gimbal sort of hanging off. So that's really all what they're for. Um, right, let's go ahead and secure the dampening plate down. I'm going to make sure they're tight but don't Obviously over tighten them. Right, next stage. Let's get the gimbal on. Pop those again through there like that. And then we can force these rubber mounts through. I mean that shouldn't come off, I mean that feels quite sturdy so it shouldn't come off but it's a case of whether you want to leave it to chance or not. Right, so connect this ribbon cable at the back. So if this ribbon cable plugs into the back of the gimbal, fairly easy to go in and we should be pretty much ready to go. I'll do those zip ties up later. Right, so the next thing we do is mount the GoPro. So, on the gimbal you have a connector there which ties up with the one on the back of your GoPro. Right, 
and then finally you've got that bracket and what this does is just go over the front of the GoPro screws into position and essentially just stops your GoPro from popping out mid-flight you can see that being a bit of a pain sort of constantly having to take that in and out but oops I suppose that's better than having your GoPro fall out right. Right, there we go. So, cable in securely. Oh. Right, that's everything in securely. And now essentially the GoPro can move securely. So, let's get this powered up and have a play. Right, so there we go. So as you can see, that's staying really steady. That's it's really good. And then obviously on the back of the controller, you can obviously control the tilt function. There you go, that's all the way down. And allows you to a bit of control over that. And that's a bit of video from the uh, angle of the GoPro itself. Quite happy with that. That's quite good. Anyway, I'm, I'll go out and do some video footage and tag this on the end, but thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to post them below. Um, quick tip was, oops, quick tip on there was these. Don't use the pins. They're a swine to get off. Um, and just use some ties loosely done, tuck them out the way, and you should be fine. Um, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.